So let's say you want to enjoy the benefits of a smart speaker, a multi-room audio setup, Spotify and Alexa integration, AirPlay 2 support, but you're concerned about your private conversations being listened in on. Well, Edifier has a solution. This is the MS50A, a smart speaker that doesn't have a built-in microphone. So we're going to take a look at this and everything it has to offer, and I'll also draw some comparisons to the Sonos One SL, arguably the leader in this field, and the most obvious competitor that the Edifier speaker actually undercuts in price. Let's take a look. So starting with the unboxing, the speakers are nicely presented, and the first accessory we have is the power cable. So perhaps the first thing to point out is that this is a mains power supplied speaker only. There's no built-in battery for portable use. We then of course get the speaker itself. And finally we have the user manual and the safety info. Looking at the speaker itself, the design is a perfect example of classic meets modern, with the wood-like body offset by the minimal black surface. This is actually MDF as opposed to real wood, but the all-round build quality seems very good. There are premium materials used throughout, from the fabric mesh speaker grille to the top plastic surface, and these speakers are a lot heavier than they appear, which adds to the premium quality. There's only one finish for the MS50A, but I think this design looks really nice and will blend in well as part of the decor in your home. By comparison, the Sonos One SL is more obviously a modern looking speaker, but it's also slightly smaller and lighter. You can remove the fabric grill, which I personally think adds to the aesthetic, but you can also get slightly clearer sound this way since I tend to find the fabric grills can ever so slightly muffle the audio. This is one advantage over the Sonos speakers which have fixed grills, though these are also metal, which doesn't distort the sound as much as the fabric does anyway. The top surface houses capacitive touch controls, and one clicky physical button for the power and mute switch. The LED ring glows white in Wi-Fi mode, will flash when your music is muted, and glows blue in Bluetooth mode. You can tap the touch controls to play pause, skip tracks, and enter pairing mode here, with a circular motion reserved for volume adjustment. It's very reminiscent of the Sonos One touch surface, though the controls are sadly not as responsive here. You need to give a bit more of a firm press to avoid having to repeat your gesture, and the volume adjustment can jump up or down in rather large increments. There's no audible or haptic feedback given either, whereas the gentle click you hear with Sonos is both reassuring and helpful. At the rear of the speaker you'll find only the power port, so there are no aux in or ethernet ports available, the latter of which can be found on the Sonos One. So connecting to the speaker has to be done wirelessly, but one key advantage over Sonos is that this can either be through Wi-Fi or via Bluetooth. I'll show you the setup process now and what this speaker can actually do. You'll first want to download the Edifier Home app, and this will take you through a very quick and simple setup process to get the speaker synced onto your Wi-Fi network. Afterwards, you'll quickly discover that the app is extremely basic, and once you've got your speaker set up, you'll probably never need to delve back into the app again. The app offers playback controls and will display what you're listening to, but you'll likely just be using the app for your music service anyway. Annoyingly, there are not even any EQ options here, so you can't make adjustments to the sound. This is a really basic feature that I definitely expect the app to have, if you have a second MS50A, then the app makes it very easy to set them up as a stereo pair, and one thing I especially like is that you can easily swap the left and right channels on the fly, you don't need to restart the setup process. The speakers offer Alexa integration as well, so through the app you can link up your Amazon account and exploit all of the usual Alexa features such as music streaming, reminders and alarms. The Alexa app is how you'd create a multi-room audio setup with other MS50As in your home, or if perhaps you don't want stereo separation but you want both speakers to play the same audio, you can set this up here too. You can also rename the speakers by the room or group, and then through Alexa you can access your music services such as Amazon or Apple Music, Spotify, and many others. This is the first of two key advantages of being a Wi-Fi speaker. Now since this speaker doesn't have a built-in microphone, you'll either need to use your phone to start streaming music, or another Alexa device with a microphone. For example, if you have an Echo Dot, then you can give this voice command to stream music through the speakers, and that way you can still get completely hands-free audio. Now the advantage of the speaker not having a built-in microphone is that you can place them anywhere in your home with complete peace of mind. You don't need to worry about the new voice data being transmitted, and you have the guarantee that they're not listening in on your private conversations. So that's really what distinguishes this from most other smart speakers, and it's really the USP of the MS50A. The second major advantage of being a Wi-Fi speaker pertains exclusively to Apple users, and that's having AirPlay 2 support. This makes using and controlling the speakers from an Apple device incredibly easy, and once you've set the speakers up on your Wi-Fi, they'll instantly be accessible in the control center. You simply need to tap on any of your AirPlay 2 speakers, even non-Edifier speakers, and have the audio immediately play through them. For example, I can instantly group my Sonos One and Edifier speakers and have the audio playing perfectly in sync. 
You can set individual volume levels for each speaker, for example if you have them in different rooms, and you can separate the audio from your phone as well. For instance, you can use your phone to start streaming music through the speakers, but then continue watching a YouTube video with the audio coming from your phone speakers, which is a key advantage over Bluetooth streaming, where all of the audio from your phone will play through the connected Bluetooth speaker. If you pair two speakers together as a stereo pair in the Edifier app, then that's how they'll show up under the AirPlay options too, but you can use AirPlay to have two or more speakers playing the same audio instead if you prefer. AirPlay 2 support opens up the possibility of home automations, like having your music automatically pause as you leave the house, and for Siri control playback as well. So AirPlay offers another way to get hands-free, or even automatic control of the MS50A, without the need for a built-in mic or for Alexa. Now obviously AirPlay is restricted to Apple devices, and you won't be able to take advantage of these features without one, but it's a really neat extra feature for Apple users to exploit, whereas Android users will only be able to use the Alexa features. In terms of smart features though, that's essentially it. Obviously without its own built-in microphone you do restrict the available features directly from the speaker, but even so, the feature set is quite limited. If you look at Sonos for example, they offer Google Assistant integration in addition to Alexa, so if you have a Google controlled smart home then you'll have much better compatibility with Sonos. This is definitely something I'd want to see Edifier add to their speakers with a software update. The app experience is much better and more feature rich too. For instance, you have a much more comprehensive integration of music services directly in the app, rather than having to rely on the Alexa app. And there are also sound adjustment options like TruePlay tuning and an equalizer, albeit a very basic one. But before I get into a final comparison and verdict, let's talk about sound quality. I'll first play some audio samples so you can hear the speakers for yourself, and I'll include some samples from Sonos so you can get a direct comparison. So what stood out to me is that the Edifier speakers are slightly louder than the Sonos One and actually offer better treble, which leads to higher clarity and greater separation. I think Sonos offers slightly more bass, which may better suit dance and pop genres, but the sound is also more muddy. I said that the Edifier speakers undercut Sonos for price, and the one area I expected them to fall behind as a result was in audio quality. But in fairness to Edifier, they are speaker experts, and I think the MS50As have superior sound quality. Just one of these speakers can provide room filling sound, and they can reach high volumes with a very low distortion, but these sound especially good as a stereo pair. I still think it's a shame there are no EQ options to fine tune the sound to your own personal taste, but there's no doubt that these speakers sound really good, especially for the price. Connecting over Wi Fi gives a very low latency, so I found these were absolutely fine for watching videos, including when acting as my computer speakers. It wasn't great over Bluetooth though. There is a noticeable delay, so without any wired playback options, there's still no doubt that these speakers are designed for music rather than video. If you're looking to add a Wi-Fi speaker to your home, then the Edifier MS50A could make a great choice, especially if you have an Apple device and can benefit from AirPlay 2 support. The setup process is quick and simple, including when setting up two speakers in a stereo pair, and they look and sound great as well. These aren't perfect though, and there are some additions I would have liked to see. For example, an aux in option, Google Assistant integration, and improving the app experience at the very least to include a custom EQ. Adding a microphone for direct voice commands could obviously be viewed as either a pro or a con. These speakers intentionally don't have one for privacy reasons, but you have to trade direct voice activation for that. Now, as for how these compare to Sonos, and in particular the micless Sonos One SL, these aren't just a cheaper alternative, but could be a better one as well. We've seen that Edifier can match Sonos for build quality and design. But most importantly, they beat them for sound quality and having Bluetooth support. So when they also match having AirPlay 2 and Alexa integration but at $50 less, this could be the deal breaker. 
However, Sonos are still the market leaders when it comes to creating a home theatre system, and they have a much larger ecosystem of devices, including soundbars, subwoofers, and speakers with microphones, that can all sync up together. You'll also get smaller perks with Sonos, such as the enhanced app experience, better controls, Ethernet connectivity, and the speakers come with humidity resistance too. So if you specifically want to create a home theatre system, then Sonos is still your best bet. But if you just want to enjoy music, perhaps create a stereo pair of speakers for this, and you don't want your speakers listening in on you, I think the Edifier MS50As are definitely worth considering. Let me know in the comment section what you think about these speakers, and tell me what speakers you are using in your smart home. Give this video a like if you found it helpful, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you stay up to date with everything from the channel. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.